Hello everyone, I'm Philadelphus, and welcome to a new series where I'll be playing FTL, Faster Than Light. I'm going to be playing with each ship in order exactly once, with the goal of getting to the end and defeating the flagship, and we'll see how far I get with each one. So with that said, let's jump in and get started with the Kestrel here for our first ship. Pretty simple ship, that's the base queen you start with. Uh, you've got this nice Artemis missile, you've got Burst Laser Mark II, three human crew. It's pretty simple, uh, fairly well-rounded. Um, not the best ship, but we may as well get started with it. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing Rebel fleet can catch up, and I'm probably not going to be reading all of these. It gets a little bit monotonous, especially my reading voice. So I'm just going to you know, let you read them on your own time, and I'll just pick out the important events as, uh, as we go through. So, let's power up our Artemis Burst Laser here, depower the med bay that we don't need, power up our engines. Uh, I could buy, let's see, I could buy either a piloting or a sensors upgrade with our 30 scrap, but I don't think we really need them with what we have here, so let's just start jumping. All right, first sector here, we've got a civilian sector. Let's see what we get. Scans your remote settlement being blockaded by a pirate ship. Well, we're going to, uh, we're going to stop that as best we can here. We've got, looks like a heavy laser and an ion stunner there. So we'll our, try and take out their uh, weapons there. Uh, luckily that laser fired first. Okay, good. We just breached their weapons room by the sounds of things. So, oh, right, because I fired my <laughs> missile, not my laser. Got mixed up, mixed up as to which was which. All right, well, let's just uh, take another shot with the laser there. We've got Layla, Bovi, and Kremity here. And that's that pirate down. That was quick. Pick through the remains. Pirate's gone. They signaled station. We appreciate what you've done, but just another ship looking to profit. Yes, too true. All right. Let's jump to uh, Distress Beacon. It's usually good for getting a little bit more scrap, typically. Catch a refugee ship drifting in space. Well, let's hail them. They're running low on supplies and suggest a trade. Um, I could use missiles, I've got the Artemis, and I've got plenty of fuel here, so sure, I'll trade with them. I don't usually like missile weapons that much, just having a limited, you know, limited supply of missiles that you can fire can get you in trouble when you run out. But we're stuck with it for now, so we may as well use it. Place too close to a supergiant Class M star. Alright. Uh, Alright, just gotta take, out, take down this pirate here. More pirates. What is this galaxy coming to? A rebellion? Pirates? Probably see slavers later on. Well, let's just hit him with the Artemis. Ooh, ow. Set us on fire, but luckily we can just drain the air out of that room. Get that fire out. We'll probably have more fires from the sun itself. Oops. I thought it was paused there because it didn't seem like anything was happening. Alright, that's their weapons and shields down. Just hit their engines so they can't go anywhere. Oh, and that takes them out. And we'll see if the sun sets on fire. Mm. Uh. Not so great. I don't really want to open the. Yeah, I don't really want to open the <laughs> the hatches and let all the oxygen out all the way up to there, so we'll send our guys in to go go take care of it. Alright, let's see here. Let's jump to down here. Alright, if the beacon find yourself dangerous close to another star. Alright, we've got a automated rebel auto hacker ship here, and I should probably send my other guys back to their positions here. I should probably heal them up at some point too, but let's uh let's take out their weapons quick. And oops, okay, or miss. Take out their shields at least. So we can shoot their weapons again. Alright, that's gonna hit. Okay, not too bad. Nothing vital. Don't really wanna wanna save these Arcanist missiles, don't you not use them unless we really need to. They're hacking our piloting, so we can't dodge. It's, oh, they took out the took out the um, sensors, and they're also on fire, which is not good. Okay, that ship's down. Did it just burn to death or something? Huh. Okay. All right, let's go uh, do the sensors here. We need to try and put this out. Oh, the shields are also on fire. Huh. Um, that's the, sh the sensors are already down. So let's try and save the shields here. Let's jump. Nice if there was a store or something to jump to, but. Ah, Kremity is taking lots of damage. You look like a military vessel. Try and get back to home alive, try and your reactor. Uh, I think we can spare two missiles. Take a free reactor upgrade. Those are always critical. 
Uh, crab do you need to get in the med bay, which we will power up here. We'll have to take turns with Bovi. I guess I could send... We're not being attacked here, so let's send Layla in there to help out as well. There. Try to get all the fires out here and repair the sensors in case there's any other fires hiding about the ship. It's always the danger when your sensors are down. Alright, let's get that all repaired there. Could actually do some upgrading if I wanted to. Like, level 2 sensors. That's always a pretty good investment, I think. Let's do that real quick. Get everybody healed up here. Alright. There we go. Alright, back to your places, everyone. Let us continue on to... Okay, there's a distress signal. There's a store. Let's go to the distress signal, try and get some scrap. I always like to try and get as much as I can before going to stores. Find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You have run by some sort of giant alien spiders. This is the one that I always, always leave them alone, because you basically have a 50-50 chance of losing a crew member. So unless you have a blue option that gives you something special to do, um, I just avoid this one, because... Yeah, that's a little bit too much of a chance to lose someone without a um, cloning bay to be able to bring them back. That's one, one case you might be able to go on it. Go take it. Alright, advanced rebel automated ship. Well, let's find out what's in the station here. They don't even have shields, so this should be fairly easy. Could probably knock them out before they even get a shot hit on us with that mini beam. Or maybe not. Oh, they hit the weapons. Oh, rats. <laughs> Uh, just power it down the Artemis, power up the burst laser again. That at least can't hurt us. So, we'll hit him in the piloting there so they can't dodge anything. It's always a good tactic. Piloting or the sheet or the weapon. It's piloting or the engines, either of which will reduce their ability to dodge. That's better. Alright, let's take this guy out. There we go. Station. Ah, oh, we got a system repair drone. Not really useful to us, but we could possibly sell it. Looks like we can jump to this nebula, then to that store, since the nebula slow the rebel fleet down a bit. Right in the little plasma storm. Oh, wonderful. Okay. That's not good. Our shields are down. We do not want that. We want them up quickly. Uh, let's see. We can power up the burst laser here. Shields up, please. Oh, that was close. Just in time. Yeah, we need those shields up, because this is kind of bad. We'll let our oxygen tick down here over time. Oh, right in the shields. Oh, this is very bad. Uh, we need that down right now. We need the shields recharged. And that was the weapons. Oh, okay, at least we took the drone down. And at least the burst laser is still charging. That's good. I should probably make that our default one. Oh, they hit the weapons again. All right, we really, really need those shields up before they can fire at us too much more. Or we're in big trouble. At least the engines are up, so we are charging to get out. And there goes the oxygen. That's not so good. This is... Yeah, okay. We've got the got the shields up. At least we can defend ourselves now. Um, we need the oxygen back up. We also need the weapons back online as soon as possible here. Alright, now they've got their drone back up. That's not good. Alright, we've got the oxygen back up. Oh, ow. Alright, let's get the Artemis charging here. That's slightly faster. We need, we need weapon power as quick as possible here. Oh, now we can't dodge either. This is really bad. Let's try and take their weapons down. At least they still don't have their shields up. Alright, burst laser. Oh, not enough power. Uh, let's leave the oxygen. Oh, they're trying to escape. Okay, uh, they'll still attack us, of course, but let's turn the oxygen off. Start charging the... Why can't I charge? Oh, because I was charging the arms. Okay, let's turn the oxygen back off here. Okay, newly, that's not the best idea. Let's get you out of there real quick. Let's turn the engine off while like, put the oxygen back on so you don't, you know, die of asphyxiation. That would be really bad. Oh, they're going to jump. I don't think we can stop them. Maybe if we get really lucky here. Oh, we've got a fire in the engine room. That's bad. Oh, wow. Okay, we just managed to stop them. Okay, we just might be able to do this. Uh, fire in the engine room. That's bad. Let's go put that out. We kind of need the engine to be able to get out of here eventually. All right, let's hope we can hit them here. Okay, must have shot the drone down at some point, and I just missed it. Because it seems to have disappeared. Alright, ship explodes. Alright, phew, well we got out of that alive. Although, wow, that was... Um, drop the shields, put the oxygen on, put the med bay on. We'll just just uh, asphyxiate that fire. Lose, lose the oxygen in that room. Get everybody healed up, get the oxygen in the rest of the ship. All, uh, all rebuilt back up to full. Looks like they got rid of the fire there. Have her break it down here and repair the engine. 
Turn off the med bay. Put the shields back on. We definitely want those charging once we, we definitely want those charged once we jump. Alright, there's everybody. All healed up. Ship's taking a bit of a beating, but we're not doing all that bad. Let's jump to the store. See what we can buy for our 140 first. Oh no, the drone was just sitting over there. Huh, didn't destroy it after all. Weird. Alright, what have we got at the store here? Drone control. Another free system repair drone. Crew teleporter. Uh, clone bay. Stealth weapons. Fire suppression. That could be kind of handy given what we've been going through. Long range scanners. Graffin, Burko, and Nellis. We've got two rocks and a mantis. None of them have any skills at all. Ah, but we could use someone with the shields, that's for sure. We should probably fix the ship here, first of all. Yeah, it's... That's a good idea. One of these guys would probably be good to have on the shields, so that we have someone, you know, getting experience on the shields, having them charge faster. None of these systems are particularly catching my eye. We don't really have a, enough crew to be doing a teleporting. We're not really outfitted for teleporting or have a good crew for it at the moment. Um, I could sell the system repair drone if we're not going to be using it. So let's do that. And let's hire, um, let's hire Graffin. And maybe just get the fire suppression module. I don't usually have one of these, so that would be kind of interesting. That I don't have to worry about fires as much. They'll, they'll get put out over time. Graffin, being a rock man, is also immune to fire, so he makes a good person for putting out fires if we have that need. But let's do that. Just equalize the air and the close oxygen level back in the engine room. All right, let's see where we can jump to. We don't want to go there, that's for sure. All right, we've got the exit. Trying to see how many more jumps we can make. One, we do one, two, oh, probably do one, two, three, maybe three, four, or something like that. Let's see. We'll see how it goes when we get there. Receive a message from nearby station. Well, we don't have enough to pay their toll, so let's reject their offer. I don't, I don't think we're going to regret that decision at all, actually. I think you guys are going to be regretting it. Although they do have a missile, that's not so good. Let's try and take their missiles out. Ow, right in the engine room. Okay, well, we we definitely, we've got this there. Yeah, they're not going anywhere at the moment. Fix that breach in the engine room pretty quickly before it starts losing oxygen. Oh, well, not quite. Pretty close, though. Oop, oop. Continue fixing it. Let's get that, let's get that taken care of here. Oh, yeah, and fix the engine as well. Go heal up a bit. You go heal up as well. Should probably buy a level 2 mid bay pretty soon, but yeah, we're doing alright for now. Get Bovi all healed up here. And so there we go. Send everyone back. Jump to, yeah, if I predicted. Let's jump to there. Jump to a sector of a nebula. Oh, a plasma storm again. Really, oh man, they've got the same setup that we had so much trouble with last time. Yeah, let's let's go with the uh, weapons. Really, the dodge chance we have is minimal, so let's just use our weapons to try and try and drop this thing as quickly as possible. If we can take its weapons down, then this thing can't hurt us, or it's very unlikely to hurt us. Especially, and it'll actually give Graffin a bunch of experience with the shields, <laughs> since he gets uh, gets experience every time the shields come back up. So it's actually really good for that. But we'll just take this out quickly. Artemis. Let's put some power into the engines. Why are we... Oh, because the oxygen's out. Right, right. I forgot about that. Oh, a store. Yeah, we only have 40 scrap. Store's not really useful at this point in time. Black Market Weapons Trader. Alright, well, I can ignore it or attack it. Let's attack it and see if we can get some scrap out of it here. Uh, let's also put the oxygen back on. That would be much welcome. Yeah, we have... 15% uh, evasion chance, so yeah, it's not that great. Yeah, we definitely need to let the oxygen level build up a bit down here in the engine room. All right, luckily, oh, they're still going to hit us, aren't they? Um, let's just try this. Yeah, we'll take a few hits. All right, well, we knocked out their shields and weapons, and they're trying to repair them rather than building up their FTLs, so I think we're safe at this point. Let's just take out their engines, take them out. There we go. Let's see if we get anything out of it. Eh, just some more scrap. Still, not too bad. I could spend on upgrading, but I don't think I can do much with 59 scrap at the moment. I think that'd be really useful. Alright, let's jump to the exit here. Arrived at the long range beacon. With the FTL drive's charged, you can jump to the next sector. You come across an asteroid mining colony. 
Oh, they want some mining explosives. Offer to solve their problem by launching a missile. Oh, that's kind of funny. Well, I appreciate your enthusiasm. We have certain protocols for the use of explosives around the workplace. Launching a military-grade weapon into our mines isn't exactly what I would call union-friendly. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. All right. Um, let's give them the request of five missiles. We'll still have seven. I'm really not using the Artemis that much, and I'm hoping to find a better, another weapon before too much longer that we can replace it with. So we'll give them five missiles. Oh, okay, they repaired four hull points. That's not a not too bad a trade. Yeah, we'll, we'll live with that. All right, let's see what we've got for the next sector. We've got a pirate-controlled or a civilian sector. We've got a pretty nice, nicely generated galaxy here. Um, I'm just going to go with the pirate-controlled, I think. It's not, not too much going either way. There we go. The somewhat isolated region was thrown into chaos at the start of the rebellion. Even in peacetime, it was always beset by pirates, but now it houses a center of operations for countless pirate fleets. All right. Well, looks like a good spot to leave off the first episode. I've been Phil Delphus. Hope you've been enjoying this series, and I will see you all in the next video.